Hey everybody, it's Lapidus Cubed here, and today we're going to actually be doing something different. Uh, we usually do Let's Plays, but I know the channel is going to be kind of, not really half and half, but uh, some Let's Plays and some game development too. So this isn't the most recent build of my game, but it is, well actually, yes, it is the most recent build of my game. I have not kind of rebuilt the whole thing in a long while, but it's not the most recent kind of features, I guess. I have added a lot more. I have updated a lot of models and whatnot, but uh, anyway, yeah, this is the most recent build of my game, Maggots, and Maggots was actually kind of inspired by the original, like, World at War Call of Duty Nazi Zombies, where it's like a round-based zombie survival shooter, kind of, and I put it on a much bigger scale and just kind of playing around with it, so I haven't played this version in a while, so let's see, uh, let's see what we got in store. So first off, uh, we got kind of a shitty menu screen, I could already tell I'm going to I have to update this if I haven't already. I haven't worked on the game in a little while, but I'm going to go get back to that. Um, I like how the buttons will highlight when you do that. I wonder if it'll just exit right away. No, it won't. Okay, so it'll ask you. That's good that I have that. And uh, let's just jump right in. Okay, so uh, this is what we got going on so far. I'm surprised it's not lagging. This game is not optimized at all, but it doesn't seem to be lagging really at all. You can see the FPS at the top. That's not 100% accurate. It's a Unity standard asset and it doesn't always work that well, but uh, yeah, we'll see, I guess. Okay, so these models don't even have the zombie textures yet, they're just the capsules that I was playing around with. I wonder if the AK has the new sound. I know I updated the sound for the AK, let's see if it has uh, the old sound. It does have the old sound. That's okay, though. You know, I'm thinking in the final build of this game, I, I right now, uh, you'll see it in the next update of the game, I have zombie models actually that walk instead of these little pill capsules. I might make a mode where you could play with the pill capsules because uh... Do I have sprint? Yeah, I do have sprint. I remember in some of the earlier builds of the game I didn't implement sprinting yet. Uh, I do need to kind of play around with the LODs a little bit because if you see the trees as I walk towards them you can see they'll start to kind of shape a little bit. Uh, none of the art in this is actually mine. I am not that good at 3D modeling really at all. I've done all the programming 100% me. Uh, some tutorials on YouTube. I don't know if I've told you guys yet, but I'm fairly new at coding. So, uh, yeah, a lot of this is through tutorials and some of my own working based off of those tutorials and things that I've learned. But, uh, yeah, the reason why I like the cube mode is because if they're gonna, they're gonna come over here? Come on. I like it when you shoot them. They kind of just roll down the hill. Like that. I think it's pretty funny. Uh, I have not yet... Ooh. Wow, look at that texture. Look at that. The hitbox for the trees are huge. And if you heard that staticking noise, I was trying to make a kind of a blood gushing noise um, from the zombies once you kill them, and I fucked up the sound somehow, and you hear it's just like, here, I'll kill one again. You'll see. It'll hear, it'll sound really fucking static each time. So you could probably hear that static. I don't know if you'll be able to hear the static actually in the video because I do use uh, Sony Vegas audio restoration, so that might that gets rid of the static on my own mic. So I don't know if that'll get rid of the static on the actual in-game recording. But all right, so right here we're coming up on a building that I had kind of made. Um, it was a another free asset that I downloaded where you could kind of just place each wall. And for some reason, the floor I checked is perfectly flat. But as you see when I run, every now and again I like bounce up and down. Like here, I'll run. See, I just kind of stop every now and again. You can see it in the gun bob. Uh, uh, yeah, the bobbing of the gun. It's quite annoying. Uh, I do need to get an updated gra grass texture, I'm thinking. Because this is a little plain. But so far, so good. I think it's, for the, for my first game, I think it's I think it's pretty good. Uh, as you have seen, I do have a leveling up system. I'm a level, I'm a level 6 already, just from starting. Well, actually, it does, I was playing this a little bit before I uh, started recording. So, ooh, see, why is that there? Is that re is it resetting the... I wonder if it was saving the position from it from last game. Anyway, uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm level 6. I'm hitting tab right now, and it keeps track of my kills. Um, the levels don't reset each game, so it'll actually save your level, like, onto your hard drive. So, considering this is, like, the first real build that I played, uh, or the first time I played this build, it... The last game I played for a little bit, I got up to like level 5, and then when I leveled up, I'm level 6 now. So it'll, it'll actually save your level. So if I were to quit right now, and then come back in, I would be level 6 still. My kills would be reset, but I'm factoring in XP, and you could buy different guns and whatnot. I think I have a money system in the most recent build, but like I said, that'll be for another future update. I'll show you guys. What? 
what I don't have yet is, uh, wow, my mind totally blinked. A round. Rounds, yeah. I do have rounds and waves and whatnot, but I don't have a round counter. I know that I have one in the most recent build, and it's, uh, I can't really show you, but it's right underneath the timer. Uh, I believe is where it is. I also added blood in the, uh, in the most recent build, which I'll show you guys. Um, these ammo crates, when you come up to them, you see how my max, if you look all the way up in the top left-hand corner, my max ammo I could carry is 1,000, but right now it's 978 if I go up to this. There we go. goes up to 1,000. I do wonder what happens when I die. Oh, speaking of which, uh, I did say I did not make any art or any 3D modeling. That little health bar right there, I made that. I drew that shit, so, you know, be jealous. Let's explore the map a little bit. Um, I, I know in my most recent build again, I have designed a lot more, but this is kind of all that I got. I know I started putting the snow on the mountain, some rocks up there. We'll go up there. Um, this is one of the zombie spawns. I have to fix it because I don't know if I put the invisible barrier here. It doesn't look like I did. I'm sliding all around. I gotta fix the collision. Yep, didn't put the barrier. So, as you can see, I could go in the zombie spawn, which... Gotta fix that. That's never good. I also increased the speed of the zombies. I was, uh... Fixing the resolution of, like, the ground texture to make it look less pixelated and whatnot. Over here, it's not bad. But, you know. Uh, so let's go run over here. Because I know this is the only way kind of up the mountains that I know of to uh, get to the snow up there. And I wonder if... I don't know if I've implemented the... Impl implemented? Implemented? I don't know if I implemented the sound up there. Oh, I also have to figure out how to paint this grass texture on here where it's flat instead of kind of falling like this. I don't know. It's an okay effect. It is a bug. Might dress it up as a feature, but I don't know. I don't really like it. Oh, I do have to optimize it, though, because I don't like that the grass, especially running on this computer, uh, I have a pretty beast god computer. Uh, yeah, I don't want the grass to have to load from so short away. But, yep, like I said, all the 3D models and whatnot are not mine. Took them from the Unity store, all free assets. It's pretty nice. I know I have the nav mesh path. I don't know how high of a height that the they could go. I... You see my character, he could kind of scale mountains, just no problem. That's because I have an air ratio, so when I jump up, it's pretty much it's pretty much setting it so when my character jumps, I could kind of move forward or backward instead of just jumping straight up a little bit. It's not really a realistic feature, but it's implemented in a lot of games. So that kind of, it checks if my character is grounded or not. And for some reason, when I get too close to like a... A, a really like steep surface it'll say my character isn't grounded but my air control ratio is still on so that's why i'm able to kind of like just seemingly float upward like you'll see when my gun stops bobbing that means i'm not walking anymore so like right now it says i'm still walking let's see let's see if i can find anywhere nope i don't know maybe the gun bob will still bob anyway so i also have to fix it where you're not so slidey and shit but i also have to make it um, where the zombies will still continue to kind of look for you idly. I have to work on the AI a little bit, even when you're not on the nav mesh. So what I have is a, a navigation component on this whole terrain, but on certain slopes and whatnot, they won't be able to see you, so you see some of them aren't even moving down there, which is not good. I think I got the sights pretty good, which is nice. Also, I gotta, I gotta fix their max slope, because that's not, that's not okay. Oh wait, that's, that's actually okay-ish where they are but see see how I'm kind of floating up right now like no one would be able to climb this and my gun's not bobbing that's what I was talking about before uh, I know I have to fix some lighting I would like it where I have some volumetric clouds and they could kind of move a little bit that would be an amazing feature to add eventually um, yeah see this is this is a problem I wonder what happens when I die I wonder if I added the death screen yet in this build let's see Okay, well, I obviously made it where their ray cast to hit me it doesn't go up. It only goes perfectly straight to see how they can't hit me right now. I might have to fix that. I don't even know if that's fixed in the latest build. Oh, here we go. Now they're going to get me. Oh, yep, there we go. And I have a sound effect. That's lovely. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, so this was the very first build of Maggots. This should bring me to the home screen now. Hopefully it doesn't crash it. Come on. No? Oh, okay. It just took a little while to load. I have to figure out how to add loading screens. To be completely honest, I have no idea how to do that. But, you know, YouTube is great for that. 
a lot of websites that can teach me how to do that, I'm sure. So, uh, if you guys enjoyed this, drop a like. If you want to see more videos like this, just tell me in the comments. Lather up that subscribe button in all your glorious honey, my cute dudes. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later for some more Maggots Indie Dev updates later on. See you later.